In this video, we're gonna help you fix the action block you're currently dealing with on Instagram. What's going on? It's Ben here from Flick, and as your resident social media nerd, just like you, I hate Instagram action blocks. So in this video, what we're gonna help you do is get rid of the one that you're currently experiencing with a few tips that can help get rid of that pesky action block. So let's first answer the question as to why you actually got hit with the action block in the first place. There are two possible reasons for this, and the first one is the most common. And this happens when you perform too many actions or actions at too high of a rate so that Instagram views this behavior as unhuman-like or that you're a bot or using a bot to perform these actions. And you don't actually have to be using a bot to get hit with one of these action blocks. It can come from you doing actions simply too fast or too many overall. And this kind of bot-like behavior is a violation of Instagram's rules. As you are not organically interacting on the platform and you get hit with an action block as a punishment. The second possible reason that you got hit with this notification and block is simply just an error on Instagram's part. So if you know for sure that you have not done anything close to bot-like behavior, behavior, it could actually just be an error on Instagram's side. And I know just in hearing that, you're probably really frustrated with Instagram, but don't worry, Flick and Ben, me, are here to help you get rid of that pesky action block. So here are the steps that you can try to take to get rid of it. The first step is to directly report the problem. When you do get this notification saying that you are action blocked, you can actually report that right to Instagram as a problem. Simply by clicking the report a problem button that does pop up will give you two options. You'll have tell us and ignore. If you click tell us, this will trigger an action for Instagram to look into the problem. If these options aren't showing up for you, there is another way to report the problem directly to Instagram, which we'll show in step two. So step two is an additional method that you can use to report a problem to Instagram. Select settings, then help, then report a problem. In this feedback section, you'll be able to type out a message where you can describe the current problem that you're facing. And you would just inform them that you are experiencing an action block currently, and you know that you haven't violated any of their rules. And then submit the form, and it goes to Instagram. The third method is an additional way to potentially remove your Instagram action block, and it's fairly easy to execute. So if your action block won't go away, you can try uninstalling and then reinstalling the actual app. Rather than just deleting the app, you'll actually need to uninstall it from the app store. And this is because of how Instagram stores data. So fully uninstall, then reinstall the app, and this may remove your action block. It's worked for a ton of people across Instagram. If it works for you, let us know in the comments. Method number four is to change your connection. Sometimes Instagram might implement a block based on the IP address that you're using to connect to their platform. For whatever reason, they may deem this IP address as suspicious. So try changing to a different network or using your phone's cellular data to actually try to reconnect and see if that helps with the action block. The fifth method to remove your action block is just simply to take it easy on Instagram and stop trying to perform actions. You've likely been hit with an action block because of one specific type of actions. So now Instagram is already suspicious of you. If you continue to try to do different things on the platform, you're only increasing that suspicion and increasing the likelihood that this action block stays around. So try leaving the app for a few hours without any activity and see if that gets rid of the action block. So those are five different proven methods that you can use to get rid of the action block, but there are actually different kinds of blocks that people do experience and different penalties that come along with it. So so here are the different types. And the time periods go up in length depending on the severity of the violation. So the first one is a temporary action block and it's exactly like it sounds. It is very much temporary. So these often happen completely by accident where people are just casually going through Instagram, but they're performing actions maybe just a little too fast in the eyes of Instagram. Luckily, these do happen all the time. And by simply waiting a few hours, they should be removed. The next kind of action block is action blocks that end on a set date. And these are a little more rare than the temporary ones. And for these, when you get sent that notification of the action block, it will actually say it'll be lifted on a specific date. One thing I've noticed for this type of block in particular is don't expect the block to be lifted on midnight of the day where they said it would be. It usually gets lifted around the same time when you actually got it enacted. So keep that in mind, just because it's midnight on the day where it's supposed to be lifted, it may not be lifted until later that day. The next type of action block is an action block without a date and it's not a temporary one. This type of action block can last up to a few weeks and usually has no option for you to specifically report a problem to Instagram right on the notification. For these ones, you'll have to take the second approach to report a problem and go through your settings. So those are the different types of action blocks that you may experience, but what actually specifically triggers these different kinds of blocks? Here are a few rule violations that could lead to your account getting hit with one of these blocks. Average interaction. So if you typically only spend a little bit of time on Instagram and you don't interact all that much, but then randomly start really upping that level of engagement, you could get hit with an action block. This is because they're constantly monitoring how you're using the platform. So if there's a huge change in how you're 
you're using it that will raise suspicion and this flags to them to roll out a precautionary action block. The size of your account will also play a role on you receiving action blocks. If you have a huge following, that likely means you're gonna get a lot more comments and engagement on your content and Instagram wants you to have the ability to reply to your actual followers. So naturally, they give you a lot more wiggle room for the amount of actions that you can interact because you're doing so in an organic way. You just have more people to interact with organically. So that is something to keep in mind. The size of your account will play a role in how many actions you can perform without getting an action block. The next thing that plays a role in action blocks is how long your account has been in existence. If you've been an account around for a very long time, you're typically going to be able to perform more actions than a brand new account. And this is just because you built up trust with Instagram from being around for a very long time and then being able to track your behavior and your usage of the platform. Naturally, even in real life, when you meet someone new, you're a little more skeptical as to what their intentions are. And the same is true with new Instagram accounts. With so many accounts being made every single day, a lot of them are made for spammy or bot-like behavior. So they're a lot more on edge or tracking this stuff for new accounts. So keep that in mind. You will get these action blocks far easier and faster on new accounts with no trust with Instagram. Another factor that plays a huge role in action blocks is your history with Instagram and action blocks in particular. If you've received a ton of these, Instagram will be watching you far more diligently and you are increasing the likelihood that you will get more of them with each one that you continue to get. So once you get one, be conscious of it and do what you can to avoid getting them in the future. The next factor that will play a role in action blocks is the type of action you're performing. Creating multiple DMs, comments, and uploads triggers the most suspicion for Instagram, followed by follower change and then likes. So for example, you can experience more likes per day than you can comments, DMs, and uploads as they are deemed more meaningful, which does make some sense for how people should typically be using Instagram. You're gonna do less of those things and more liking, so they give you more freedom to do that. And the final factor that plays a huge role in experiencing action blocks is the usage of bots. Bots perform actions on your behalf and they can do so at crazy levels. And they previously were a huge part of the Instagram community, but Instagram has cracked down on this huge and it is absolutely a no go. You never wanna use bots on Instagram and they will catch you for doing so. And they will be quick to hand out action blocks if they even suspect that you're using bots. So avoid them at all costs. When it comes to growing on Instagram, you need to focus on organic strategies that are still currently working. And a phenomenal place to stay up to date with everything that is currently working on Instagram is within our free Facebook community called The Social Hub. Use the link down below to go over and access that community. It is very active. There are a ton of resources posted in there every day with a very active community eager to help. So go join The Social Hub. It will absolutely bring up your Instagram game and help you grow. Another huge element that you wanna focus on if you are looking to grow on Instagram is the effective use of Instagram hashtags consistently. And to help you out with that, we released a full comprehensive hashtag guide to help you with everything that you'll ever need to know about making an awesome and effective Instagram hashtag strategy. That video is linked in the card above, so go ahead and click that. I'll see you over there and keep crushing it on Instagram. Peace.